This is about to be a real, real, real unpopular opinion. I believe it's going to be a real unpopular opinion. And that's because people haven't delved deeply enough into the subject for them to understand where I'm coming from. What's going on, young black and wealthy family? How y'all doing? I'm back with another video. Um, I just want to thank everybody that's been coming over and subscribing to all those on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, uh, TikTok, and other places that have came over and subscribed to our channel. Thank you so much. You know how you can support this page, this YouTube channel, by liking, commenting, sharing, and most assuredly subscribing to our channel so that you can see our content. So let's get into it. Co-parenting. Listen well. Co-parenting is not a substitute for a two-parent home. What do I mean by that? Simply put, um, co-parenting is still a single parent household. We know from statistics, the data, and just by turning on the damn evening news, the single parent homes in the black community have failed and it failed badly. So we talk about co-parenting. Women really love to use this co-parenting, co-parenting, co-parenting. And I'm not saying that co-parenting is a bad thing. And I'm not saying that in certain situations that is uh, not, not necessary because it is. If two parents have irreconcilable differences, they can't live together, they can't be around each other, whatever situation is, and they have to co-parent. It's necessary. But we have made it the norm. And because we've accepted it as a norm, our families are broken up and destroyed. And we have behavior issues with our children. We have poverty in our community. Um, and let me add some real quick before I get off the subject of poverty. That one of the number one causes of poverty in our community is single parent homes. Did you know that? That's extremely, that's a huge thing. I talked about this on the Instagram page that we could decrease poverty in the black community drastically if we had two parent homes. Just by having two parent homes, two parents under one roof, it actually, the data actually shows that if the single parent is a mother, the likelihood is even higher that the child will be in poverty than if it was a single dad. So these are all the secondary effects. So these are some of the secondary effects that we're having from having these single parent homes. And like we use, like I said, like we used to use the word co-parenting, co-parenting, that's co-parent. I'm sorry, but co-parenting is failing us. It's failing us. We need fathers in the home with their children leading their families. I know we don't value men. We don't value fatherhood and we don't value marriage and family in our community at our own detriment. But look around us. We're in the community. I'm from Chicago, Illinois, Southeast side. I grew up in the hood. Grew up without a father as well. And you hear this argument a lot. Oh, I raised uh, some 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 great young men and things of that nature, and they didn't need a father. I did it on my own, but my mom did it on her own too, sister. She did. She did a great job. She sacrificed. 
Um, you know, if my mom ever sees this, I love you. Thank you. But she did a great job. She did. And I give much respect and love to any single mother that's out here going hard for the children. But it was things that I needed from a man that I needed from my father. It was things that he can only share with me and guide me on because he had already experienced manhood. And growing up the majority of my life, I always thought to myself that I was just fine without a father until I became a man, until I started having children, relationships, when we get into marriage, when we get engaged, when we're dating, when we get into that part of it, that's when I understood. That's when I realized, I should say, that I needed a man. I needed a father. Because it was just things that she couldn't guide me on. It was things that I couldn't even accept from her as uh, information because it was coming from a woman. And not because it was coming from a woman, but it wasn't a man's experience. She can only tell me life through a woman's eyes. I needed to know what life was like through a man's eyes. So we grow up as young men bumping our heads more than we should because we didn't have fathers, two parent homes. And those of us who even have fathers around but a father gets us a couple times a month, maybe gets us some time on the weekend. That's not enough. How do you raise your child? How are you a full-time parent? How can you be a full-time parent if you're not under the same roof with your children? Think on that. Think on that as, as women. Think about this. Do you, could you say that you were a full-time parent and that you can pour into your child the way you wanted to if five days a week they were with your sister or your grandparents or with someone else and you only could see them for two days? How do you, how do you raise them? How do you, how do you pour into them? and guide them correctly if you only have them for part of the time. You you, you really can't. Fathers now that are co-parents, they're what you call providers. That's it. They provide for the children. They're not raising their children. And our children need time, guidance. They need to see us in action, waking up, respecting women, going out, working hard doing what we need to do for the family, fixing things around the house, being men, doing what men do. Our boys and our girls need to see that. How how is a young lady supposed to know what a man is supposed to be like if she ain't never seen one? How does a young man supposed to understand how a man is supposed to treat a woman and how he's supposed to be in leadership and handle his role well? As a man, that he's supposed to work hard, provide, protect, and be productive. How does he know what to do and how to do if he's never seen it? And we have a tendency as human beings to do more of what we see than what people tell us to do. Right? So you you smoking the cigarette or you drinking, you tell the child, no, don't ever do this. And what do they do? They see you doing it, so they go out and do it. Even though you say it, don't do it. It's the same thing that they need to see us in action. They need to see a man in the household. They need to see two people, the man and the woman. They need both energies, both essences in the household so that they can be balanced. And that's why co-parenting is not a substitute for two-parent homes. We need to get over ourselves. We need to overcome our differences. We need to learn what love is. We need to understand how to pick our partner. 
we need to look for who's compatible and who's aligned with us before we start having children. All of these things, we got to get ourselves together before we start having children, man, because we can't keep having these broken families. It's destroying us. And co-parenting is not a substitute for two-parent homes. No man or no woman could be effective the way they would be if they were actually inside the home seven days a week. It's just no way to do it. So you got a young man growing up in the household where women dominate, then you wonder why he's emotional. But he goes and sees his dad every other weekend. That's not enough time for him to learn how to be a man. The majority of the hours of his day are around his sisters, his mom, his aunties, her friends, How does he know how to be a man? I mean, if y'all know something more than I know, please get down in the comment section and elaborate. Tell me about it. Because we got this thing in our community. Man, we just, we get, we get so twisted up, man. We so twisted up. We so backwards. We don't even look deep enough. We don't have depth. We don't even look and say, well, look, man, let's look at, let's look at the numbers. Let's look at, let's look at the statistics. And I know, but the, man, the mothers out here, y'all going, y'all are doing an exceptional job. Many are doing an exceptional job, but you just can't give a young boy what he needs. And it's certain parts of 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 the young ch- young female child, her growing up, that she needs something that only a man can give her. We so off balance, and we wonder why. This song, thirty years old now, you talk, be a man, boy. What the hell? What the hell is wrong with you? Why you can't seem to blah, 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 to do this? Or do? Yeah, you see it now, even though you still don't see it. He done a good job, but it was things that he needed from his father. And the only way you can get that is through time spent. And that's why co-parenting, it's, it's not a substitute or an alternative. It should be the last resort. It has become our first choice, not the last result. I mean, as a man, I'm not saying that I'm not pointing the finger at men and women too. Let me make that clear on why it is like it is. Um, at the end of the day, it's you can see the result of the decision that we made. I mean, you can just go outside the door or turn the local news on. Do you think if we had two parent homes, fathers in the home, do you think we would have crime at the level that we do? Domestic violence at the level that we do? Murder at the level that we do? Bullying at the level that we do? Drug use at the level that we do? Suicide at the level that we do? Disrespect of women at the level that we do? murder of our children men a young man killed himself and his children because the mother of his children 
allegedly was cheating on him. That sounds like a man who grew up without a father to me. That sounds like a man who grew up without a father to me. Just look at what's happening, man. We got to do better. Young, black, and wealthy, we promote black family. We promote marriage. That's one of the core principles, family, marriage, wealth. Um, but the core of it all, of young, black, and wealthy, this is the basis of it. Everything else grows from this, and that's family. And uh, the black family, man, has been destroyed. It's been decimated. And until we put it back together, man, since family is the root of civilization and that you cannot have civilized people without family, we in trouble. So I know it's unpopular, but just listen to what I'm saying. Look at what's happening and listen to what I'm saying. And then you make a determination on whether what I'm saying is right. And I'm not saying, uh, let me make this clear one more time before I end this. I'm not saying that co-parenting is a bad thing. But it should be the last resort. That we have to understand what love and marriage is. We have to figure things out with ourselves fix these issues, this trauma, these mental health issues, whatever it is, before we get to starting families, man, because men and even women, sometimes only with their children for the first few months where it's a two-parent household. You don't even get to see the child make it to one to where you can spend enough time and pour into the child. One years old. And that's and that's and that's really sad. We gotta do better than that. We gotta do better than that. And I'm not saying also too, because I like to I like to come and attack these things while I'm making these videos because I know somebody gonna come with it. They're gonna say, Well, it ain't just black people, and that's a fact. That's the most that's most definitely a fact. That's most assuredly a fact. But no one's doing it on the level that we are, percentage-wise. Families broken up percentage-wise, lack of marriage percentage-wise. Nobody is doing it on the level that we are. We're failing. We are failing, and if we don't get it together soon, we in trouble. So... Family is important. Family. I use that word a lot because I always want to invoke, invoking the thought. Family, family. You know, at the end of my videos, I always say, don't forget to get a family a hug for me. And the reason why I say that is because I always want to keep family in the mind, but also because there's somebody right now that you had an issue with in the family. The wife your child, brother, sister. And it's like, we got to figure out a way to work that out. So I always say, get a family a hug for me. So you can think about those things. You can think about that relationship, that person in your life that you might be having an issue with, and you can figure out how to work that out. So I love y'all. Thanks for listening. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Go on over to uh, Instagram and find us on Instagram at Young B L K A N D W E A T H L Y. That's Young Black and Wealthy. Young B L K and Wealthy. Uh, the handle was the same on TikTok. Um, we on Facebook at Young Black and Wealthy. Um, fully spelled out. Um, my stock group is. The Young, Black, and Wealthy Stock Group, which is where we emanate from. That's where we originated it, talking about investing. So y'all go over there and find all of those. 
Love, y'all. Let's keep the family together. Get a family a hug for me. Get a wife. Get a husband. Get a kid to hug. Man, let's talk it out. Let's work it out. And let's stop making co-parent parenting the order of the day. And let's stop making two-parent family homes, marriage, and family the order of the day. I'll see y'all in a minute. Have a great one.